guys i am back with another review i actually did um what's it called yeah i got new nails done by the way um i actually did like um a haul with she moisture and the other she moisture by cream that i have so um i also have to review the review for the body wash as well so stay tuned for that as well um however so i am back i pretty much used the whole thing it's just like tiny bit little bit at the end now that i'm trying to squeeze out honestly speaking but i feel like i've used pretty much the whole thing otherwise to actually do a quick review on this um this is the she moisture pink himalayan salt relaxing body cream um the other one that i have is the revive and brighten body cream um pretty similar same bottle um it is a fair trade she butter um it does not have any parabens phthalates mineral oils animal testing and petalatum so um i know some people are really against animal testing so they don't do it i know a lot of people know about parabens and they don't want to use that so that is like a great one so this is basically to help with silky smooth body is a silky smooth body cream and it's supposed to help with um to create specifically created to restore skin's um suppleness and moisture um this unique formula blending pink himalayan sauce clary um clary sage i think i think that's clary um and narrowly oil leaves a fresh and beautiful fragrance all over your skin okay i'm not sure about the fragrance part but i'm going to get back to it um I'm going to vitalize your senses, absorb quickly, so your skin does not feel greasy or sticky. Um, as far as the fragrance I was mentioning, I didn't really see it as a heavy fragrance. Um, I, I mean, if I actually like, smelled it properly myself, um, then yeah, you will smell it. But I feel like, other than that, I think the type of scent they have, you wouldn't even notice it. You'll just be paying, you know. Uh, paying your own mind and stuff so honestly speaking the fragrance honestly will not be bad i know some people are kind of annoyed if it has some you know if it's heavy scented or some weird kind of scent or noticeable scent in this case there's no notable scent and you wouldn't even realize that you have it on um in terms of how it leaves the skin i noticed that um my skin is on somewhat drier side um and i did notice that my skin did feel a little bit soft on the softer end um and i even used like a body wash as well that actually really dried out my skin and, I, and that's not heat moisture that was like a whole different um uh body wash but it really really dried my skin out however this was able to moisturize my skin so that being said i do personally like this um as far as relaxing honestly speaking um i'll be still i don't know relax in what sense honestly speaking would it make my skin i don't know if it's not stressing your skin or whatever the case is i don't know um but other than that honestly speaking i feel like um, you know it did not have a negative reaction on my skin um so i would like always recommend to um do a patch test to see how it reacts or sometimes you know moisturizers and any kind of skin care products there's certain products that you cannot figure out you know if how it will react to your skin until like a couple of days later and you, if you see that you have negative reaction after a couple of days i would recommend to stop using it so that's definitely i would recommend in this case as well just in case to be on the safe side so yes i personally would continue to use she moisture body uh, um, body creams um i do have the other one so i will finish that off and do a review on that as well um sometime soon so stay tuned for that as well um other than that i will be linking both my subscribe pages down below make sure to follow hit the subscribe button the bell button and i'll be back for more stay safe and stay tuned guys